Hey guys, Digital Dave HD here, and today I'm finally doing another play review. This time it is with Second Inform Sigurdsson. This is the team I built around him, which is a nice sweaty BPL team in a 3 5 2 formation. So, as you can see, he now plays for Swansea and he is an 80 rated cam. So, let's go into his stats. So, as you can see on the card, he's got 70 pace, 74 dribbling, 86 shot, 58 defending, 79 passing, and 68 heading. As you can see from there, his shooting is definitely his main point. He is 6 foot 1 with medium medium work rate, he's right footed with 3 star weak foot and skill moves. And he only goes for around 30, 35k, around about there, which I think is really cheap, especially since he is actually quite good in game. So what I'm going to do now is go into his in game stats. So we will start off with his skill attributes. He has got 81 ball control, 77 crossing, 92 curve, 75 dribbling, 87 finishing, 98 free kick accuracy, 64 heading accuracy, 75 long pass, 94 long shots, 57 marking, 90 penalties, 85 short pass, 97 shot power, 56 slide tackle, 55 stand tackle and 83 volleys. To his mental attributes, he's got 60 aggression, 38 interception, 75 attack positioning and 78 vision. To his physical attributes he has got 71 acceleration, 72 agility, 66 bounce, 76 jumping, 81 reactions, 71 sprint speed, 99 stamina and 73 strength. So what I'm going to do now is just leave some clips in the background whilst I talk about Guilfrey Sigurdsson. So first I'm going to go through some positives and negatives and then at the end I'll show them all and show what rating I would give him out of 10. So. For his positives, um, his main things are his penalty stack, curve, free kick accuracy and his free kick power. They are incredible, they're all way above 90 and he is incredible at free kicks and his corners are pretty good as well but it's hard to judge corners. But that is pretty much the main thing about him as well as him being extremely cheap. I mean 30k for a BPL inform, 80 rated, is pretty rare and I think Gilfie Sigerson is definitely a good buy. But again, there are many, many negatives. For example, a 3 star weak front 3 star skill move is straight away extremely bad because you can't shoot on his left foot, and the most you can do really is a fake shot and a roulette. And most people won't like that, they'll find that really difficult and they'll think it's a waste of time. But overall, playing with Guilfrey Sigerson, I didn't think he was that good to play with. I would rather have someone like Santi Cazola or someone like that who is just as good as free kicks, but is better as well on the pitch. So as you can see there, here are all his positives and negatives I've done. So to his positives, his penalty stats, curve, shot power, free kick accuracy, very cheap, even uh, work rating, and his height. He's 6 foot 1, which I think is pretty decent for a cam, and to his negatives, which there are the same. 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, his heading, he's extremely slow, He's got bad dri dribbling, pace, and his nation, Iceland. So it's really hard to link up with him. He's in the BPL, but you would need um, a Swansea player really to get a green link, which is really annoying. And I gave him a 6 out of 10, which is actually really generous. The reason why I gave him that is because he's cheap and he's got good free kick stats. If he didn't have that, I would give him a 4, 3, 5, somewhere around there. But there's so many more negatives to positives, which is real shame because... I expected quite a lot out of him and I didn't get anything back which was a real shame and I guess that's why he's so cheap. Anyway guys, tell me what you think about the review in the comments down below. So please like, subscribe and comment for more reviews and I'll see you next time.